Hey everybody and welcome to part 15 of Spyro, Year of the Dragon. So in the last episode we did the annoying fisticuff match in Frozen Altars and today we'll be going to Charmed Ridge after Hunter got kidnapped. For those who don't know, this background is actually from Toasty. And I believe maybe, I mean not Toasty, uh, Chimp. Spyro, Chimp. we urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. He's named after a demon slash angel, and they're wizards of Felinia, the world of cats. Well, that seems weird. I'm not gonna lie, that is just odd. Now yeah, you actually have to kill the wizards before they do stuff to enemies because it makes enemies more difficult to kill. Sharp Bridge is kind of like, um, oh, what the frick level is it called? Uh, haunted, haunted Towers with a little bit of, um, Lofty Castle kind of mixed in. And I do like the soundtrack here, it is catchy, but all my favorite levels are actually in the last world of the game. See what I mean? They turn the enemies big. And then they also do some weird stuff like that. Hurry, Spyro! If we don't get to the castle right away, the princess will be forced to marry that loser, Prince Azrael. That loser? Seems just like forbidden love going on here. And all due respect, lady. People can marry who they want nowadays. But you're not allowed changing him. Oh god, Jesus. Almost ran right into that guy. I believe Moneybags is also here as well as Sergeant Bird. You guys notice Bentley is probably the least used character, and I don't think we've even used Sheila once in this world. I know it's kind of weird how they start to do that. And they just wait for the wait for it to pound like that. I guess it doesn't really crush you. <laughs> it almost crushes you, but not quite. Oh, that was a dick move there, Mr. Crossbowman. And we need a rocket for that, I believe. And there's some gems up here that I don't know if I can... Nah, I can't get them yet. So let's go talk to Moneybags. Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. Well, that seems like a dick move. 600 gems! It's all the gems in this level again! You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. And uh, best of luck rescuing that princess. Or whatever it is you're up to. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm up to here, man. I don't even know she really needs rescuing. Now, this is also like Alpine Ridge. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is like a remix of Alpine Ridge from Spyro 1. Or Spiral the Dragon, I should say. Oh, come on. That was just bad. Alright. These guys really remind me of the Lofty Castle enemies. That's why I brought it up. And ooh, an egg. Named Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, Sergeant Bird is gonna be here. And his mission isn't the worst, though it is difficult if you don't go in with full health, so just make sure you have full health, and it should be fine. A lot of people have a lot of issues with it, but honestly, I don't find it that bad. There's nothing down there to do. Though, you know what the sad part is? You remember how we paid money bags, right, to get up? Well, we can permanently get up here in just a second. Like, right here, we just shoot them, and they no longer control the stairs. Oh, and it is a rocket. Rocket ship to the moon! Ugh. Oh, you did collect them, thank heavens. <laughs> the rocket crashed after I already shot it, that's funny. There's gems up there, sir? Hmm. It's gonna be an issue. The fact that I already paid you to get up here, dude. Man, see what I mean? Like, there are points in this game where it's like literally the ultimate ripoff. And that happens to be one of them. And I believe there's an actual egg up here. Like, if you 
think you make it over there, I believe. But I believe to get there, you actually need to land up here. Wow, I meant to actually kill her, but hey, Mo, where's your tavern? Homer's favorite place to go. Yeah, hey, we actually found a Homer the dragon in this, too. That's funny. <laughs> Wonder if we'll find Marge, Lisa, and Bart. I haven't found him just yet. Oh, let me guess, you're gonna move the platforms? Yeah, oh. Look who it is again. Let's talk to her. There is no time to lose. Prince Azrael and his cat armies are about to steal our poor princess. Do you mean like your daughter or something? I'm pretty sure it's like her daughter, but meh. It's like some Romeo and Juliet shit going on in here. Oh god, that is some electrified looking goop. It's not really electrified, I think it's just like blue lava, but still nasty. Don't want to touch it. Alright, okay, now... Didn't actually mean to kill them. I was actually going to go over here, and then I'm like, wait, I can actually kill them, so let's go and kill them. Oh, that's not the Sergeant Bird one. I believe that's actually a Spyro mission. Sorry, dudes, you're dead. Whoa, that was so close. Like, that was scary close in. What? Is there seriously just a random hole? Eh, let's go in here. Hey, Jack, is that you? I wonder if that's Jack. Jack and the Beanstalk guy? Yeah, it might be. Eh, let's see him. According to legends, there's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain. I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it. I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Grow seeds from a bear with a bag of gems. He said they were magic, but I can't make them do anything. You can have a couple if you like. <laughs> you bought stuff from money bags? Go figure. Okay, now see the yellow ones spawn flowers, and the pink ones spawn mushrooms that you can bounce on. You just throw them into the dirt. And what I'm doing this for first is there's gems up there that we want to get, so we'll do this. I don't know, I really like Insomniac's little gimmicks like this. It's kind of cool. Yeah, ten bucks. Not bad. They just reflame them if you want to get rid of them. And then you can just redo it in this sense. Just go over here and replace them like this. And I noticed you guys watch this LP more than any current LP on my channel other than Sly, so I'm glad you guys actually watched this one a little bit at least. Ah, more. Hmm. Why am I missing some seeds? Oh wait, because I don't actually need this flower. I only needed. I don't actually. I don't even need, know if I needed it at all. No, I'm not gonna commit suicide. I'm trying to actually get up there. Oh, can't do it on that one. Oh okay, yeah, this is going to be annoying. I think you can actually do it on that fence. There we go. Perfect. Haha! <laughs> I cheated the system, man. Oh, there's uh, another one, I guess. Boink. We'll do it like that. Cool. And we'll do it like this. I think we got this down packed, guys. There's actually two eggs to get here. One for getting halfway, and then one for getting up the other half. I believe you only need a flower for this one. Not a mushroom. Oop. Yep. Oh, there's Jack. I found this egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. Yay! Are you sure this is laid by Golden Goose? Shelly, Shelly Deacon, a friend of my mom's. You've been doing great so far. Why don't you take two more seeds? And I know it's not Shelly from Pokemon because it's spelled wrong, so. Gonna really use that in two more seeds. Yet I just got another one over here, too. Hmm, okay. 
Boinga. So this is all just gonna be mushrooms, eh? Oh, this is gonna be easy then. I don't know, I really think the second half is actually easier than the first half. I don't know why, but it just is. I don't know, a lot of people really, really like this uh, level. And I, I have to admit, it is a good level. Like, there's a lot about it that's fun. Yeah, I see. I don't think you would have enough oomph to get over here. Now we got three more seeds. Just gonna collect all the gems first, that way I don't miss anything. Oh, remember, we're not actually making anything off of this level. Boom, boom, boom. Now, I believe what you actually want to do for this next part is you want all mushrooms. So what you want is you want to take this and get rid of get rid of that. You'll need this mushroom that's up here. So then we just replace this one with a flower, and voila. See, it's not that difficult. When I was a kid, I had a hard time figuring that out. I don't know why. Like, I was like a mathematical genius, and now I'm not good at it. It's funny, because I have more common sense when it comes to video games and stuff like that than when I was a kid, but when I was a kid, I was like a top-notch student with all these really nerdy grades, and it's just, it's just really, really weird how life changes like that sometimes, you know? And I used to have lots of friends when I was geeky, then... When I moved to Cold Lake, I lost a lot of friends, so then I'm like, okay, maybe not try and be geeky didn't work either. Either way, now I have less friends than I ever did, but now I have a girlfriend, so... Life is weird like that. I've only seen one frog to give us health the entire level. No. God damn it. Sometimes you just don't bounce as high on these mushrooms. Though I do like the mushroom concept. I wish there was like a whole mushroom level in this. Go! Ah, perfection! I want the gems. I don't care about your goddamn golden goose. At last, I found the legendary golden goose. You can have another one of its eggs for a souvenir. Okay. What do we got here? Chuck Norris! Nope, you're too nerdy to be Chuck Norris. 101 eggs. By the way, we're 65% done the game, so we're getting close to finishing. Boom! Whoa, big money. Real big money. And there's no more gems in here, so we can leave. Wow, we're exactly at 27 or 4,700. That's funny. Hmm. Anyways, with that out of the way, we can now continue on and finish off most of the level. This level is actually fairly long, too, if you think of it. Like, there's actually quite a bit to do. Like, as Spyro. Hey there. I just saw Prince Azrael run into the castle. We have to stop him before he reaches the princess. Okay. Ta-da! That's how you do it. Sparks is like, I need that gem. Okay. Let me just flame all these pop- or these wine bottle rockets. Phase rockets? Man, you can hear all the gems. It's a lot of small gems. Hey, some a five over there, man. Oh mine. No one shall have Wait, who turned you big? That was mean of them. Aha! 47, 67, that's weird. There's only 67 gems from that ramp up. Boom! Hey, I didn't say you'd leave the level. Oh, <laughs> hi, Spyro. Isn't Prince Azrael just the dreamiest? The other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Azrael says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. I don't even know where you're going, so sure. Sakura! Hey, what are you doing at a Naruto? And you got kind of fat. <laughs> there they go. And Sergeant Bird was over there. And that's the beginning of the level now, so that's awesome. Let's see what else is up here. 
Ah, uh, cat. Oh, look, a mystery vase. Mm, it's over by that staircase now. Goodbye, kitty cat. You're dead. I'm sure the rest of the gems are just in that vase, so let's go into Sergeant Bird's level. Good day, Spyro. I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a, uh, an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, she's just a friend, you understand. It's a strictly platonic relationship. It's certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. <clears throat> what? What are you giving me that look for? Haha, <laughs> bird's going on a date. Hey, baby. Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. Eh, yeah, I'll battle all the witches. And I hate this music. Why do you have to use the soundtrack again? To get five of them. Alright, so. Just turn around. Shoot them. Whenever they come at you. I just realized when you turn around, they stop coming after you. Hey, baby. Oh, come on. That was a dick move there, little witch. There we go. So, I see those rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. Dude, you're pussy whipped. I'm not gonna lie, man. Nah, I can't hit any of them like that. Pow. 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 Oh god, how did you hit me? Man, I really wish I had the extra health from Sparks right now. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna break all the windows, because guess what's in those windows? Health. God damn it, I didn't actually mean to finish it, man. Break. There we go, skill points, so now we got our health back. Wait! Come on, you dick von caterpusses. Oh god, they're shooting magic up the wazoo at me. Oh man. Like, how are you supposed to- How are you supposed to avoid half of these? No. God damn it. Oh god damn it! Oh, and you gotta talk to her every time? Oh man, this is gonna be annoying. Come on. Talk! I don't really think this music fits Bird, though, you know? Also, only five. I don't know if the skill point comes back. I don't think it does. Like, I don't get why the second wave doesn't, like, have attacks or something just to show that, you know, they're going to do that. Like, all of a sudden, the last wave has attacks and lava. Like, it, it, it's not fair, you know? This one at least introduces the fact that there's going to be 10 witches. What the hell? I shot before you charged. Pow. Pow. Alright, come on. Bring it. Bring it, little kitty cat. There we go. I must have... <sighs> All right. Like, that was no fair. I couldn't move. Or if I can at least get health back this way, you know?
Yep. I guess the skill point does technically doesn't count until you beat this level, eh? Yeah. Oh wow! I'm not even taking any damage on this round. Why are there no witches? Where's the other witch? Oh, they are. I don't care if I take damage now. No. I'm supposed to die. There we go. Took her down. Did it, James? I knew you weren't the leader of the Hummingbird Resistance Movement for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. You're gonna give me a dragon egg? That's not much of a present. Abby! Abby Mallard! Woohoo! Let's leave! Because now I'm gonna leave my date because, you know, I no longer need to go to my date. Now, does that vase reset? Yeah, the vase resets. I guess it's so, you know, just in case you lose track of it. Yeah, let's go up here. Oh, you actually have to use the hover there. Did you notice that? The whirlwind isn't enough to get up. I almost died there, man. There it is. Smackdown. At least this concept isn't abused in this. Wait a minute. It's just over there. Gotta get up here, though. Like, I'm really glad they didn't abuse that concept in this game. It's ridiculous in... In Spyro 2, you know? Like, all of a sudden we get introduced to it in World 2. And then everyone uses it. Oh, goddammit. No. No! That's insta-kill! I didn't know that. Now we gotta do it all over again. I wish you could just, like, skip the little animations from it, but you can't, so... Oh, well. Okay. Turn around, Spyro. Whoop. I really just find this tedious and boring. Though it is worth 100%, so we're gonna do it. Because you know me and Spyro games, gotta get 100% for my Let's Plays. Continuing up. Because it was a dumb idea not to go back up. All of a sudden, like, it skips half the level. It's like, oh, well, we're not going to do any of this anymore. We're going to go down here. Ah, we actually hit it. That's in front of the ladder. I got an itchy nose. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, fly! Up we go. It's on the island now, right? Not quite. Actually, wait, no, it's down here. Forgot, it does, it does that weird backtracking, so now you gotta go back up. I don't know why it does that. It's like you could have got over there the, fir at the first time, but now it's like, no, now, now you gotta do all this to get there. And pop. See, really easy to get 100%, so let's leave. An apology and lunch. Hello, I thought you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes. This was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back. If you let me go. I'm sorry, I can't. Ah, poor Hunter. You are unloved. Well, anyways, that is this episode. And in the next episode, we'll continue on. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.